Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, I'm Pastor Pete with your word for the day. Today we are looking at Psalm 109. Psalm 109 is a psalm about persecution, uh, about suffering. And as I was reading through this psalm, two verses struck, struck me and made me think of Jesus Christ. And I want to read them to you. It says in verse 4, In return for my love, they accuse me, but I give myself to prayer. So they reward me evil for good and hatred for my love. Doesn't that sound like something Jesus could have said towards the end of his life? Jesus was unjustly arrested. He was lied about. He had a false trial. Uh, after that false trial and people lied about him, he was beat, struck, mocked, flogged by Roman soldiers. Um, he was hung on that cross and he was crucified there. And while he was being crucified, he was mocked. People ridiculed him, taunted him, told him to come down and save himself. And I can just think of Psalm 109 going through his head. For my love, they hated me. For my love, they accused me. You know, we need to know something. Jesus endured that kind of persecution and that kind of suffering so that we could know him, so that we could know God, so that we could be forgiven, and so that we could identify as God's children. And in the midst of Jesus enduring that cross, he prayed. He prayed. If you look at the last words that he said on the cross, most of the time he was talking to God. He was talking to his Father. He was praying for the forgiveness of those who were killing him. He was committing his spirit to God. He was pouring out his sadness to God. He prayed. When we endure persecution, and we know we will, because if we're his disciples and he was hated, the world will hate us as well. So when we endure that persecution or we endure that ridicule from a watching world, we need to commit to praying. We need to know that Jesus went through this before us and it was because of his love that he was persecuted and we might endure that persecution as well. And then finally, this Psalm ends with a verse of hope and I wanna read it to you. For he stands at the right hand of the needy one that he is God. So God stands at the right hand of the needy one to save him from those who condemn his soul to death. So even though Jesus on the cross uh, looked alone, uh, he felt forsaken by God, uh, there is this promise that God was at his right hand, that the cross was not the end. There was resurrection. There was victory over death. God had a mighty plan that he was going to work through the suffering that Jesus suffered unjustly. God was going to give us justice. He was going to give us forgiveness. So when you're walking through a tough time, God is at your right hand. Jesus is at your right hand. He wants to help you. He wants to give you a firm foundation. So let me encourage you, whatever tough time you're going through today, commit it to prayer. Know that God is right there with you and trust him through it. You have a blessed day, Calvary.